Crystal, first, congratulations on another Northwest Conference title. How does this feel? Um, great. I think every time you win, um, the feeling is great, but it is different also each time. So last year being uh, the first time ever and kind of getting that monkey off our back was one feeling, um, but then to be able to do it a second time and, and almost say we're a little bit kind of starting this tradition I and mean, we're actually creating uh, maybe a long standing culture within what we're softball is a completely different feeling. So um, no longer being the underdog and, and being able to pull it off a second time is pretty sweet. Looking back at the season, it seems that this year may be even more of an impressive accomplishment compared to last year because every weekend was a grind. The the league has never been stronger from top to bottom as it is now. Does that do the players have a sense of, of really how much they've accomplished this year? Um, it's interesting because I think that we're so focused still now on taking that next step. I mean, we really enjoyed this last weekend, but as a program, we really do want to take the next step that we haven't even focused a whole lot on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that the conference as a whole, uh, the bottom teams have more wins than they've had in, in recent years um, and wins against some of the top teams in the conference. And so you never quite know exactly what's going to happen in our conference uh, this season. Um, with the parity that's going on and so it was a grind and in that way uh, even more of an accomplishment. Talk more specifically about this last weekend. We were one strike away from being swept <laughs> in Saturday's doubleheader yeah. and rallied to win that game and then really won a hard-fought game the first game Sunday. Right. Uh, the other two games Linfield handed to us pretty good right well we strategized a little bit so um we knew we had to win two games and we knew we were down to one pitcher and so we basically planned on winning two games and losing two games you never want you're never going to go out and try to lose two games but we knew we had one pitcher and that we needed to win um the two games that Michaela would throw and we were hoping that we would only have to throw her two games and not three games or whatever it would be um, to try to accomplish that. And so it ended up working out perfectly. Uh, huge that Kelsey Downey comes up with that hit um, in the uh, seventh inning on Saturday to pull out that win in the second game, or else now we are talking about a scenario where Michaela has to throw a complete game on Saturday and come back and throw two complete games on Sunday, which would have been a lot tougher. So, um, yeah, so we strategized that a little bit. It ended up working out perfectly. I think the memories that the girls have had from past games this season in which they're never out of it and can pull it out even with two outs uh, down to your last strike. We've talked a lot in the past about as long as you have pitches, you have life. And it only takes one pitch sometimes in the right scenario. And we knew that when Miranda got hit in the back to load the bases, you could just sense that that was the turning point. It was almost like everybody in the dugout out at that point really believed that we were going to do this so it was kind of a neat thing uh this so this weekend we're hosting the conference tournament very familiar the same four teams playing this year also played mm -hmm. last year um how does that benefit us how does that create challenges for us yeah i think and and um when you look at those four teams and the head-to-head -head percentages I think it's also kind of crazy it's very close lots of splits so um, it's anyone's tournament um, all four teams are talked about in regional rankings um, all four teams have great strengths of, strengths of schedule have played good competition all year long have um, some good pitching and so I think it's going to be a hard-fought tournament